good afternoon. Or it's morning actually still. Charger Troller here. The ride home from work. Part 2 of Reality and TV. Of course we're reporting from the militant state of Michigan. So we'll cover a little bit of what's happening in, well, a few short hours, in about uh, 12, about 15 hours from now, 16 hours from now, the, the you got you gots to wear your mask law goes into effect. Yes, Governor Whitmer comes out on Thursday and talks about, well, how, you know, we might have to make some changes. And then, of course, on Friday, uh, you know, afternoon, they come out, well, you, everyone's got to wear a mask in public place, or it's a $500 fine, or um, for not wearing the mask, or even better yet, you know, if you see a business letting people in without masks while well, you report on those people. So we're no longer, uh, you know, you, you report uh, that business to us, and we'll take away their liquor license and whatever send in the health inspectors make their life miserable so we've turned from Michigan to Snitchigan so Snitchigan uh, has a new mask law in effect uh, the one thing that um, has always I don't know kind of got to me a little bit is I never really watch much of them I really don't watch any of uh, Whitmer's press conferences or her whatever you want to call them but anyways you always see or there's a someone writes an article but you always see in the comments thank you Governor Whitmer for protecting us for keeping us safe like Jesus you people can't you've taken care of yourself all these years and now you can't and this protecting us so it, it sort of reminds me and I know I I know I put in the title of some other vlog did you order the code red but I see Whitmer on the stand as Colonel Jessup you know my executive orders although grotesque to you probably saved lives or I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to you I would rather you just wear your damn mask or run for governor yourself either way I don't give a damn what you think you're entitled to see this is all it probably saved lives and then when it turns out this is nothing but a big scare they're going to say well you know it was better to the air better to air on the side of caution you know so Snitchigan residents, you know, get ready to wear your mask up until, uh, what, November 3rd or November 4th. Soon as the election is over, everything will be back to normal. But I still have a feeling, though, that eventually she's, uh, Governor Whitmer is just going to get on the patience of uh, try the patience of too many of the residents and they're just going to say no more there's a couple of uh, county sheriffs that that are have already publicly said that uh, you see someone without a mask on don't call us no thank you I know the county that I was in they'd already they weren't going to enforce uh, some of the stuff and I think this is you know might be a little bit of a way around that I don't they haven't came out and said anything about the masks but you know now they've made it uh, about the businesses as well so you can you can snitch on the business owners as well um, I just uh, I wish people would kind of get tired of it and not take it anymore. You know, all these cases have, are in, you know, majority of the cases are in nursing homes. Like I said before, they had the 
2200 bed FEMA hospital or hospitals two 1100 bed hospitals set up in the Detroit area for a month uh, in total they both cared for 30 30 patients 33 patients I think but oh now it's now it's back you don't hear him talk about ventilators you don't hear him talking about uh, hydroxychloroquine uh, you don't hear him talking about any of that stuff you don't hear him talking about hospitals being overrun you know we're not doing this to uh, know more about flattening the curve none of the stuff before that all this was about it's just Governor Whitmer getting up and deciding that you have to bend the knee bend the knee her to her will businesses you will bend the knee as well and uh, we're going to continue this until I say so and the other thing too is you know Republicans aren't saying anything uh, maybe they're just letting us see just how bad it's going to get maybe they're waiting for the residents to say no more um, but nothing as far as Republicans have come out and said anything which uh, is almost more depressing So, from the militant state of Snitchigan, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.